we're standing back out here at our cornfield and we've been going through the different stages we talked about r1 in our last video and we've progressed to the point where some of the plants have gone to the r2 or blister stage sometimes also referred to as the brown silk stage and also some of the plants are in the milk stage or the r3 growth stage so when we talk about brown silk this is kind of what we're looking at on the plant basically the silks have been pollinated they've turned brown and so that's kind of what we're seeing here as well. So this is the brown silk condition, which leads to the blister stage. And when we talk about the blister stage on the ear, we're talking about these kernels that basically look like they've blistered up. And so these kernels have not yet been pollinated or they haven't progressed yet to the blister stage, but these ones have been pollinated and they're beginning the grain fill process. It's called the blister stage because if you actually take these kernels out and pop them, they'll pop and secrete kind of like a clear liquid. Essentially, that's what blister stage means. If we pull back the husk of the ear, we can see that this plant has actually entered into the R3 growth stage, which is the milk stage of corn kernel development. Some of the kernels at the very tip of the ear are still in the R2 growth stage or the blister stage. But if we look in the middle of the ear, we start to see these kernels look more like sweet corn. And basically what is happening is that watery substance that was inside of the kernels at the R2 growth stage is being replaced with kind of a starch-like liquid, uh, which is kind of milky in color and consistency. And so that's part of the reason why we call it the milk stage. Basically it goes through the next stage, that liquid, would turn more solid in the dough stage and then we'd progress to the dense stage. So once you get past the R4 growth stage you enter into the R5 growth stage which is the dent stage. So this is why we call it dent corn is because the kernels as they dry out they start to form a little divot at the tip of the kernel and so that divot is dented in from where it was at the dough stage. Now you start to see some changes to the husk on these ears so as you look at these ears, they start to senesce a little bit. And the dent that I'm talking about is here on the kernel. If you look closely at the kernels here on the ear, they're starting to get dented in on the ends. And so they're starting to dry out from where they were at the R4 growth stage. And what we're going to talk about next is the milk line that may be able to be seen in those kernels. So if we take that ear that we saw that was dented and we split it open, we can start to see where this milk line starts to appear. It's usually easier to see on the end that faces the tip of the ear as compared to the back end where the ear meets the plant. So I'm going to focus solely on, on that section of the ear. So if we look at this, we can see on these kernels this darker line starting to form partial, part way down the kernel. And so that's what we call the milk line. And as with this plant progresses through the R5 growth stage, we can see this line get closer and closer to where the kernel meets the cob. Right now I would estimate this plant to be at about 10 to 20 percent milk line. So here's another ear from the same field at the dent stage and I wanted to show you a slight difference in the milk line. So we notice here on the tip end of the ear that when we broke it apart these, the milk line on these is about halfway down that kernel. So I would say this ear is at about 50% milk line. The final growth stage of corn during its developmental life cycle is the R6 growth stage, which is also known as physiological maturity or black layer. And so the key indicator for this stage is these kernels still look dented, but they're dried down. The milk line has progressed all the way through the kernel and where the kernel was being fed from the cob has senesced within the kernel. So the best way to determine if you've reached black layer is to actually pull kernels off the cob, cut them open, and see what they look like. So once we've cut that kernel, we can actually take these halves, split them open, and you can see right where that kernel was developing and connecting to the mother plant or the cob, that's where we have this thin black layer forming just on the underside of the embryo. We can also see it on the other side of the kernel as well. If we flip that over, we can see that black layer formed at the bottom of the embryo itself. And that signifies the plant has reached physiological maturity and that that seed is no longer filling with carbohydrate. 